are there any countries that are disappearing? What are weird and disappearing countries? Have you ever heard of a country that suddenly disappeared from the map? Or a country that is so small, it's almost invisible to the rest of the world? These are called weird and disappearing countries. They often exist in international law, but are not recognized by other countries. In this video, we will look at some of these strange and mysterious places and explore their history and current status. Wondering which countries are the least visited in the world. They usually have low populations and there could be multiple reasons why they're not as densely populated as other places. It's definitely interesting to take a look at their cultures and histories. The least visited countries in the world can vary depending on the year and various factors such as political stability, accessibility, and tourism infrastructure. However, according to recent data, some of the least visited countries in the world are Tuvalu. With a population of around 11,700 people, Tuvalu is one of the smallest and least visited countries in the world. Located in the Pacific Ocean, Tuvalu is made up of nine islands, which can be difficult to reach due to limited transportation options. Kiribati. Another small island nation located in the Pacific Ocean, Kiribati has a population of around 120,000 people. The lack of infrastructure and limited tourism development have contributed to its low visitor numbers. Marshall Islands. With a population of around 58,000 people, the Marshall Islands are located in the Pacific Ocean and are made up of 29 coral atolls. The remote location and limited tourism infrastructure make it a less visited destination. Sao Tome and Principe. This African island nation has a population of around 220,000 people and is located off the west coast of Africa. The country has limited transportation options and lacks the infrastructure needed to attract a large number of tourists. Comoros, located off the east coast of Africa, the Comoros has a population of around 850,000 people. The country faces political instability and has limited tourism infrastructure, which has contributed to its low visitor numbers. There are many reasons why these countries may have low populations or visitor numbers, including limited infrastructure, remote locations, political instability, and economic challenges. Shockingly, there are several countries that have been forecast to vanish in the near future. Factors contributing to this include rising sea levels due to global warming, desertification and population growth. There are several countries and territories that are at risk of disappearing due to various factors, including rising sea levels, natural disasters, and political instability. Here are a few examples. Kiribati, made up of 32 atolls and one raised coral island, Kiribati is at risk of disappearing due to rising sea levels caused by climate change. The government of Kiribati has purchased land in Fiji as a potential relocation site for its population. Maldives. The Maldives is a low-lying island nation in the Indian Ocean that is also at risk of disappearing due to rising sea levels. The government has implemented various measures to mitigate the impact of climate change, but the threat remains. Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands, like Kiribati, are at risk of disappearing due to rising sea levels. The government has advocated for climate action and has even taken legal action against nuclear-armed countries for their role in contributing to climate change. Tuvalu with an average elevation of just 2 meters above sea level, Tuvalu is one of the most vulnerable countries to the effects of climate change. The government has also purchased land in Fiji as a potential relocation site for its population. Somaliland. Somaliland is a self-declared state in the Horn of Africa that is not recognized by the international community. Political instability and lack of recognition have made it difficult for the government to access international aid and support, which could lead to its eventual disappearance. It is important to note that the disappearance of a country or territory is a complex issue that involves various factors, and it is not necessarily a sudden event. 
However, climate change and political instability are two significant factors that can contribute to the disappearance of a country or territory over time. Countries that some people may consider unusual or quirky for various reasons. North Korea North Korea is a mysterious nation with an incredibly restricted government, renowned for its distinct political system of Juche. As it remains a closed-off society, it remains one of the most challenging countries to visit in the world. Bhutan Bhutan, a small Himalayan country, is well known for making gross national happiness GNH, its primary focus rather than gross domestic product GDP. The government assesses the nation's success by analyzing spiritual, physical and mental health, as well as environmental preservation. What's more, the country is renowned for its striking scenery and beautiful traditional architecture. Vatican City Vatican City is an incredibly unique, sovereign city-state situated within Rome. It is the headquarters of the Catholic Church and has a population of less than 1,000 inhabitants, making it one of the tiniest countries in existence. Astoundingly, San Marino is the sole nation in the world to be completely surrounded by another country, Italy. What's even more incredible is that it does not have an airport or train station. Iceland. Iceland is a wonderland of geysers, hot springs and glaciers and a paradise for believers of supernatural beings. Its locals are incredibly respectful of the natural environment and take great care to not disturb the supposed homes of elves and other magical creatures. Japan. Japan is renowned for its distinct culture that is often viewed as odd by outsiders. From its adoration of chummy figures, kawaii, to its passion for vending machines and game arcades, Japan's popular culture and traditions stand out from what is common in Western nations. It's worth noting that though some of these nations may seem peculiar to folks outside, they are all so deeply entrenched in culture, history and traditions that are absolutely worth discovering and respecting. Are there any countries that still have cannibals? No, there are no countries or societies in the world that openly practice cannibalism as a cultural or traditional practice. Cannibalism is considered taboo and is illegal in all countries, and any reported incidents of cannibalism are treated as criminal offenses. Historically, there have been cases of cannibalism in various societies and cultures around the world, such as in Papua New Guinea and some Amazonian tribes. However, these practices are generally no longer practiced and are often viewed as relics of the past. It's worth noting that there have been isolated incidents of cannibalism reported in some countries, often linked to criminal or mental health issues. However, these incidents are not representative of any wider cultural practice or belief system, and are seen as aberrations by society at large. Incredibly, some countries still indulged in the practice of cannibalism as recently as the last century. There are no documented cases of any country openly practicing cannibalism in the last century. However, there have been a few isolated cases of cannibalism that have been reported in some countries, often linked to criminal or mental health issues. One such case occurred in the late 1970s and early 1980s in Papua New Guinea, where there were reports of cannibalism by the four people. The four people were known to practice a ritual called, endocannibalism, in which they would consume the bodies of deceased family members as a way to show respect and ensure their spirit's safe passage into the afterlife. However, the practice was banned by the government in the 1950s due to health concerns, as it was linked to the spread of a disease called Kuru. Despite the ban, there were reports of isolated incidents of cannibalism in the late 1970s and early 1980s, linked to a cult called the Fivefold Path, that promoted the consumption of human flesh as a means of spiritual enlightenment. The cult's leader, a man named Robin Lindsay, was convicted of murder in 1984 after confessing to killing and eating parts of a woman's body. It's worth noting that these incidents are rare and are not representative of any wider cultural practice or belief system in Papua New Guinea or any other country. Cannibalism is generally viewed as taboo and illegal in all countries, and any reported incidents of cannibalism are treated as criminal offenses. What country no longer exists and why they disappear? And what are they called now? Astonishingly, there have been seven former nations that have either been dissolved or absorbed into new states. Here's a quick overview of why they disappeared and what they are known as now. 
Prussia. The Kingdom of Prussia was a sovereign state that existed from 1701 to 1918, when it was dissolved following Germany's defeat in World War I. Its territory is now part of modern-day Germany, Poland, and Russia. Republic of Texas Amazingly, the Republic of Texas was an independent nation existing between 1836 and 1845 after it gained independence from Mexico. In 1845, Texas was taken under United States rule and that's when it became a state. Absolutely astounding. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia was a socialist state that existed from 1945 to 1992, when it dissolved following a series of ethnic conflicts and civil wars. Its territory is now part of modern-day Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro, Kosovo, and North Macedonia. Vermont. Vermont was an independent republic that existed from 1777 to 1791, when it joined the United States as its 14th state. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia was a sovereign state that existed from 1918 to 1993, when it peacefully dissolved into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Kingdom of Hawaii. The Kingdom of Hawaii was a truly remarkable and independent nation that existed from 1810 to 1893, until its government was overthrown by U.S. business interests. Following the overthrow, they formed the Republic of Hawaii. It's a mesmerizing story. In 1898, the Republic of Hawaii was annexed by the United States and was converted into the territory of Hawaii. After more than six decades, in 1959, it was finally declared as the 50th state of the U.S. Gran Colombia. Gran Colombia was a sovereign state that existed from 1819 to 1831, when it dissolved into the republics of Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela. Which are the countries too dangerous to visit and why? There are several countries in the world that are currently considered too dangerous to visit due to ongoing conflicts, high levels of crime and violence, terrorism, and other security concerns. Syria. Syria has been embroiled in a civil war since 2011, which has resulted in widespread violence and displacement. The ongoing conflict has made Syria one of the most dangerous countries in the world, with a high risk of terrorist attacks, bombings, and other violence. Afghanistan. Afghanistan has been in a state of war and political instability for several decades, and it is currently facing ongoing conflict between the Taliban and the Afghan government. Yemen. Yemen has been devastated by years of conflict, which has resulted in a humanitarian crisis and widespread violence. Somalia. Somalia has been in a state of political instability and conflict for several decades, and it is currently facing ongoing conflict between the government and various militant groups. Libya. Libya has been in a state of political turmoil and conflict since the ousting of former leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Iraq. Iraq has been in a state of political instability and conflict since the US-led invasion in 2003. It's always a good idea to consult with official government travel advisories and seek advice from experienced travelers or travel agents before planning any trip to a high-risk destination. If you liked this video please subscribe and like so you and help me grow my channel.